and and this is on um, uh, a block, by the way. This this paper, so it is kind of stretched, and um, it shouldn't cockle too much. But obviously, if you are doing this on unstretched paper, then you might have a little bit of trouble, unless it's on a block. Obviously, if it's on a block, then it should be fine. Okay, so what you can do if you're not doing it on a block, just thinking about it, is if you if you wet the back of your paper first, and then you kind of do this process on the front of your paper, sticking, you know, kind of putting the, the wet piece back down on whatever board you've got, that will um it will help. It won't it won't stop it, but it will help it in you know cockling too badly. So there we go. So lots of water filled up the whole, the whole thing, nice and wet. Just have a look. See if there's any little bits that I've missed, which I think I've got most of them. So for this, I'm going to keep it fairly flat to start off with. I don't want it to spread too quickly, and then I'm going to tip it and um, try and get the paint to move as we go along. So while I'm letting that kind of settle into the paper touch, I'm going to mix up the colour or colours. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to keep it fairly light to start off with because um, this is kind of the underpainting as it were. So I'm dipping into some nice strong yellow and I'm going to start off with this as my um, base, base colour. And I'm going to come from the face out, so it's going to be pretty strong. But obviously, I could wash some of this out if it's too bright. Some in the arms, and I'm not intentionally trying to keep it specifically in these areas, but I want these areas to be of this sort of colour. If you see what I mean, but in the face. <clears throat> And just let it kind of move and merge. Okay, I'm going to wash that brush out. I'm going to tip that a little bit just to get it moving. And obviously, as I tip it, it will get slightly lighter as well because the colours are. Um, becoming more dilute with the water that's already on the paper. So let's just get that moving a little bit. Move it up a bit higher. Okay. Now I'm going to spray out. So I'm just going to use my spray bottle. Uh, should I spray it? Let's give it a little spritz, just through his forehead. I think there, I'll just tip that out. So I just want it to be a bit lighter there. Just in his face. Okay, and we'll let that just run away. Next color then. Going to introduce some, um, let's think. Oh, someone's trying to ring me. I'm not sure who that is. We're in Bedford. We'll leave that for a minute. Um, so let's go with, I think, a light blue. Obviously, it's going to go a little bit green where they mix, but that's fine. So I'm just using some cerulean blue here. Mixing up a bit of cerulean and bring that back in to some of these areas in the background. Not exclusively, but specifically, mainly in the background. Might have a little bit of that through the through his hat. 
get a bit of that into so the background and the colors are merged so that hat can go all the way all the way through so we'll just block that in a bit more blue coming down the back of his shirt probably bring some of that into the shirt some down here scrub that in okay now just gonna give that a little spray again just to get some movement in it. and also to keep a bit of moisture into the i don't want it to dry out just yet so just reintroduce a bit more water see how wet that is Okay, just going to tip it a little bit. So even though this is on a block, it is puddling a little bit in some areas. So I just want to move those around a touch just to stop them puddling too much. Take some tissue, just mop those up in the corner. Just take off some of that excess uh, water. Now, next bit then. Move to a slightly smaller brush. Not too small, still, still this sort of um, 14 there. That was a 18, come down a little bit. So I'm gonna start to introduce so pretty wet, a bit of, bit of, bit of colour in the face, but not too much because it's going to bleed everywhere. So, obviously, bearing that in mind that it is going to bleed. So I'm taking some cadmium red and a bit of alizarin. Those two colours mixed together. A bit of water, not too much. And I'm just going to pop on a bit of this. Going to be pretty red, but I'm going to knock it down in a minute. Expecting it obviously to bleed a bit. And then we can have <clears throat> a touch of that red and we'll mop up that big puddle that's there. Quite a big puddle growing here. I'm going to lose that. a bit more red at the top of his ear because obviously the beard is pretty dark so most of this is going to get painted over but I do need a bit of red there just going to knock a bit of paint off that brush going to drop a little bit of that red into so this is not going to bleed as much because I've taken quite a bit of the paint out of the brush I'm just going to start to bring some of that into and around his eye. And it's still wet, by the way, this paper, but there's not so much moisture in the brush, which is why it's not moving anywhere near as much as that did. So a bit of that there, a bit on this side. Some on the nose. And the lip, which is in there somewhere. We'll get some of this on his arm. Just scumble some of this colour on. His arm kind of comes down into his shirt there. A bit in the back of the hand. more Go 
Coming all the way down. A bit more red in this hand. So these fingers are pretty pinky. Start to pinky those up a bit. And the wrist and this arm is actually quite dark, so we can actually come a bit more red through there. And then I'm actually going to take some cerulean now, so some cooler colours into that red. So the red and the cerulean together, so it's a bit slightly purple. And again, not too much paint, just a little bit of paint. It's going to look a bit greyer. Start to get some of this shadow in his arm, hand, I should say. Around the fingers, thumb, into the eye, his eyebrow, hat, or hairline, I should say. A bit darker. I'm going to put some um, bit more blue into that red and a touch of yellow. Just make the brown a, a bit stronger. I can come all the way down now around the back of his head. In the beard. So a bit more blue, red and yellow. Coming all the way down to about where his arm is. Although well, there should be a gap, but never mind, we'll give him a longer beard. Some of that across the top of the underside of the nose, down the mouth, come down the side of the beard with that, into his neck, back of his head is about there. And then we're into the shadow of his shirt. So the shirt shadow kind of comes all the way through. Up. <clears throat> Let's just lose some of this moisture here. It's just puddling a little bit on the paper, creating a big line. Don't really want a line there, if I can help it. Just gonna lift a bit of that out. Okay, so now, while it's still a little bit moist, I'll we'll take a um, dry a little bit of moisture in it, but not too too wet. Just going to lift out some light on his cheekbones across the forehead. Just mopping up a little bit of colour. A bit through the nose. <coughs> A little bit of that in the beard as well. Lift out. Touch of light. Perhaps the brim of the hat. 
bit more light in it. This finger here is very light. Back of the hand, this finger. And the scissors as well need to have a bit of light on them. And this face, a bit of light on the nose and the ear. And also the hair. So I'm just kind of wiping the excess paint off onto a bit of tissue here just as I lift it off. There's a bit of light there, quite a bit of light. A bit of light in the hair there. Okay, it's starting to dry out a little bit now. So, let's now go to a smaller brush. Not too small, but one that I can actually use now to draw with. Somehow this has got turquoise all over the brush and then we've got any turquoise out. Okay. Let's now get some slightly darker colours. I'm using a little bit of um, uh, black. <clears throat> And into that, I'm going to put some uh, some of the yellow. So the same two colours, or oh, sorry, the yellow that I used earlier. Um, just get some more of that out. And a bit more of that into the black. So it was making quite a a dark brown is the kind of colour I'm after. Oh, sorry everybody. Hang on, someone's just trying to cool this thing. I just turn that off. Right, hopefully you're all back again. Sorry about that. So, straighten up a bit. So, as I said, I'm just mixing up a kind of a brown colour. I'll start to introduce a bit of this. I took it up a little bit more as well now, so I can see what I'm doing. Fairly wet there. I can't really drop too much in there just yet. But I start to get some, knock a bit of paint off there. Too much, otherwise I don't put any on. Okay. So just starting to drop a bit of colour now. Oops, don't want it to tip too quickly. In the hair, where and, and near the hat. As you can see, it's still got a bit of moisture in the paint. Oh, sorry, in the paper. So, coming around the back of the ear. Down, down his beard. Make that a bit darker. Coming down the cheek. A bit stronger again. Underside of the beard. 
put a bit more dark into the back of the head. Okay, and then some darker, darker tones now into the nose. And the, and the eye area. Under the nose there. So once this is dry, then what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll just finish off shaping up some of these areas to make them a bit more positive. A bit more dark under the lip. And in the mouth. Okay, right, we'll leave the face for the minute while that's just drying off. Come down to the arm. So while the arm's still got a bit of moisture in it, I'm going to drop some of this colour on. So the shadow kind of comes down, down his arm there a bit. And I can even start to indicate the hair that he's cutting through his through his fingers. I actually embellish that a little bit more. This guy's getting a real trim. And that kind of comes down under the fingers. Down to his <clears throat> main part of his hair and then we can start to block some of that in just using that same color this brown and yellow uh, sorry the black and the uh, yellow mixed together so we'll just swoosh some of this on just trying to keep a little bit of that light Um, left, a bit stronger now down here, this is the back of his head. Coming down, and he's actually got got a beard as well, so we can actually bring that down all the way down under his chin, and then link that through to his hairline there. So his mouth, chin, moustache is all fairly dark. And then down into his, whatever he's wearing, his jacket. I'll just leave that dark. Put a bit of this into the shadow that's running down the back of this, behind his head. And into his shirt. <clears throat> Uh, we can introduce a bit of this colour on his shirt as well here because it is actually sort of a mustardy sort of a brown colour comes up the back and then his hair is on the line there this is his collar and he's got some um, like wrinkles and stuff in the shirt. Go 
bring all the way down and then obviously out of the picture. A bit under his elbow. His forearm. This is the um, button area. A bit darker in there. Okay, so while that's still got a bit of moisture, put a bit of brown into this forearm. So the same, same sort of blacky yellow mix is what I'm using here. And that can come all the way down to his hair. And then define a little bit of the back of this hand and even put a bit of it into the shadow in his hand. And that kind of comes into that little hole of the um, scissors. Actually, a shadow over that finger as well. <clears throat> okay. I'm just going to give a little bit of a spray on a couple of these pieces. So, tiny, tiny spray there. Maybe. No, I think that's probably enough. Just the bottom there, perhaps. Right. So I can actually go back to his, whilst all this is mingling, I can probably go back to the face up here now. So using my slightly smaller brush again. <clears throat> Just gonna have a swig of coffee first, because that's more important. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to <clears throat> put a little bit of this plane of his face in, which is slightly darker on this side than it is on the, um, the front portion of his face. So for that I'm going to take the same black and yellow mix, <clears throat> put a bit more yellow in it. and add a, add a tiny bit of the um, cadmium red just to warm it up a tiny little bit not too strong just a bit warmer just have a look see how wet it is so we'll just start to introduce this color a bit warmer actually a bit more red Tiny bit more yellow. Just want that colour to be a bit more colourful. So coming up into the hairline. So it comes down the edge of the eyebrow. So I can actually bring a bit into the eyebrow of that same colour and a bit of it into the under eye, just to link it all together. Comes out towards the hairline, down. As we're coming down into the cheek, it starts to cool a little bit. I'm seeing it slightly cooler. So I'm gonna use a bit of cerulean blue and the red, just to cool that colour down a bit. Bit more cerulean. A little bit too cool now. Let's have a look. Might be okay for a first pass. A bit too dark. Let's just lighten that up a bit. A bit more water. It's just on the hairline here. I want to start to turn the edge in his cheek. 
coming down his face all the way to the edge of his moustache. And on the top side of that, I'm going to put a bit more yellow. Slightly more yellow and crimson. So the alizarin crimson. Just a bit of that in this edge. I'm going to take my other brush, just soften that off. So I'm trying to describe a surface that's coming up and over. So these colours are hopefully going to start to imply that there's a cheek in this area. Just taking the um, semi-dry brush, just to manipulate that paint a little bit, the edge, so we don't get any hard edges. Now, don't want to keep that too light there, so I need to bring a bit more blue, more cerulean. Sort of a gray in here just to link the edge of the beard with where the edge of the cheek is coming. So a few bits of that blue mix and then a bit of a slightly orange here. As we turn around nearer the mouth area, so we're becoming a bit more orange in these colours. In the moustache. Just soften those in a little bit. Okay. And this area here now needs a bit of colour. So again, I'm going to use slightly bluer. Tiny bit of orange in it. Too dark. Can run a little bit of that there, and then slightly warmer piece. Sorry, someone's trying to ring again. I don't know who that is. the last time I try and call. So then let's move on just into this area. So I need to try and turn that edge over a little bit more, so a bit more blue, slightly cooler. work that colour back on the edge of his eyebrow. Get that to come down a tiny bit lower. And then just tease that into the fore area. This is going to be a bit lighter here. lifting out a tiny bit of colour there. 
I need some slightly more dark now. So I'm going to go with some alizarin and the blue to make it a little bit purpley, but not more alizarin than it is purple. Blue really is just to cut down on the um, on the redness and a tiny bit of the yellow in that because obviously a little bit of yellow in the purple is going to make it go slightly brown. Um, so let's just get a bit of this. We'll start to get a bit of this now into the eye area so we can see where the actual eye is. So I think the eye comes down to about there and then kind of cuts up and then back on itself. And then comes in up and back. So let's just work that edge a little bit. Just softening the edge off as I go. I want it to be too sharp. A bit of blue, or a bit more blue, I should say, into that same purpley mix. So I'm just trying to see where my tracing is. I can't really see the drawing very well, so I'm going to have to make this up. So the eye actually comes under. So we've got a shape that goes over there. The eye is actually down here. Popping a little, a little bit of dark just to start the eye off. And then the over eye part is lighter, so it should knock that down. And the under eye is a bit darker. So the piece that comes under here and then round and back on itself. It's kind of the under eye piece. And that will come over and then join up with the first part. And I could just soften off just this edge a little bit. And then a tiny, tiny, tiny wash, just so that edge is not too sharp there. And we can redefine that later on for some darker colours. And then a bit of that purpley colour into the other eye, or the other side, just so that I can show up where the um, almost the edge of the nose is before it tips down into um, the eye. And the eye is going to be in there somewhere. It's gone a bit far. And the eyebrow got a bit browner. A bit more orange into that. <laughs> so this eyebrow kind of comes up this way. And this eyebrow, the underside of it is about there. <laughs> A bit more brown into the hair here just to start to define almost where the Edge of the hat is, but don't want it to be too sharp. So I'm just using this damp, semi damp brush just to knock down any edges. So it's darker there. <clears throat> and slowly, hopefully, make the faces starting to, to emerge. 
make it come a bit darker there. Oops, a bit more moisture in the brush, it's a bit too dry that is. <clears throat> so the hat actually comes from the back around and then to about here. So just soften off that edge a bit. <clears throat> And then the back of the head comes down. In. There's a shirt there somewhere. I don't want this shadow to be too broken up. Okay, then let's put a bit of colour now through his shirt. Let's put a bit more colour in through the shirt. So for that I'm actually just going to take some water, clean water hopefully, and I'm going to re-wet um, this area, so his shoulder coming down over his arm. So basically, the the main shirt area is where I'm wetting. So the back of the head, all the way through there. There's also actually a little bit of shirt that comes down. Um, this side, so let's put some water through there. Just re wet it. Uh, okay, let's leave that for a minute and let's put some colour on it. So I'm going to go a little bit orangey for this, I think. So perhaps some transparent yellow and a bit of red. To warm it up. Fairly, fairly strong because obviously I want the, the colour to be reasonably prominent. And I'm just going to drop this all over that wetted area. Might need to just soften off that edge. So just running a damp brush along there and there, just to blend that up into the shadow or the existing kind of colours we've already got. Don't want it to be too sharp. Coming down his arm. Oops, gone over his arm there, don't want to do that. Just lift that out. A bit more yellow in the back of this head under the arm all the way down a bit of yellow that needs to show through here also in the shoulder that's his shoulder comes under the beard that's a bit of shirt under there as well so we need to get that in just to trim his beard back a little bit there's a little bit of that color as well here okay let's just soften off some of these edges just so they're not so sharp Under the arm there. Break this line up. Okay. And so 
take a little bit of that colour that I've just put in the shirt. Just introduce a few notes of that in the face. A bit darker under the eye there. In his hair here. Just a little bit in the nose, the edge of the nose there. <clears throat> Oops. Just to soften that in. Okay, that's probably enough of those. The odd bit of yellow in his hand as well. Just a few marks. that brush off. So I think I need to establish a slightly darker hat now, or stronger coloured hat, I should say. <clears throat> so let's get some more cerulean out. So I'm going to use cerulean blue and I put a little bit of probably a lizard in it just to make it slightly more purple with a cleaner. So the uh, cerulean blue. And it needs to be fairly, fairly strong. I'm going to put a tiny bit of the alizarin in that. So, as I said, it will go give a tinge of a purpliness to it. I don't want it to be too purple, but just a bit of purple. So then let's start to get this hat a bit stronger. So the back of the hat has got kind of a band that sort of comes across. So I'm just going to do a bit of drawing now with the brush. The back of the hat comes up, combs over. Fill that in. We've kind of got this sort of dip. Top of the hat is comes down and over. Probably a bit too heavy, and to just lighten that off. Just, just going to run that away into the background. Bleed that out a little bit. Don't want it to be too solid. It's a bit solid. A bit of this blue in here. Back of the head. Piece of that colour from the front coming out. Just 
just soften that edge off a bit. <clears throat> and it's come down a bit, I think. <clears throat> I'm going to get a slightly darker piece of brown the colour I used earlier and just run that on the south side of that wash just to get those colours to mix a bit better. It's a bit isolated at the moment. Get that blue in the the um, sort of darker hair line a bit more merged. Okay, and now it's quite fiddly obviously to go around absolutely everything um, whilst you've got the paint on the go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some water and I'm going to run it around the edge of my um, shapes or hand, arm, whatever you want to call it. And the water will just buy me a bit of time <clears throat> when I'm actually putting the paint on to, uh, to be a little bit less speedy. So let's just run that around there. I'm not gonna worry about wetting too much of the actual rest of the background. I just wanna wet the shapes around the figure really because that's the most fiddly bit to kind of cut in and have to kind of uh, take care of. Whereas by wetting it, the paint will do all that for me. So, and then I haven't got to worry about it. So a bit of water just down this finger. Around the knuckle, into the edge of the scissors which comes down there. We've got this little sort of rectangle shape going on there. Into the edge of the hair. Just drop a bit more water in there just to keep it moist. And ideally you'd be doing this with clean water. So around the comb. There's the comb into the back of this hand. Outside of his moustache. Around his nose. His eye. Into the edge of the hat. Go around the hat. I'm not gonna go around everything around the hat. I'm just gonna, because this side down here actually is not too fiddly, so it's, I might even not even bother putting water down there. I might just kind of wing it. Okay, so let's take some colour then. For this, I'm going to use um, some cerulean blue. I'm going to move fairly quickly some purple to start off with. And this is going to be a mixture of colours. So I'm just going to scrub all my colours and give it a bit of a spray. I want it to be fairly colourful. A bit of red, a bit more red into that. Fairly dark as well. So bring that into the hand area, around the fingers, kind of cuts in around the hand. And hopefully the paint will bleed into the area that I want it to bleed into. Just give that a spray while I'm going. Just get those colors to mix a bit more. Bit more blue, bit more red, slightly darker blue down the bottom here. Around his nose, 
in there. This little shape inside. Let's just lose that water. There's a lot of water there. A bit more paint. Some blues in there. Just link those blues into that colour. A few brush marks. A little bit of that earlier black. Perhaps we'll get some of that coming in. Around the hat. Cut into the hair where he's actually um, holding the strains of hair up. A bit too far there. Just cut around the face a little bit. Take that colour back up and around the head. Take some browns now. A bit of burnt sienna. A few dobs of that here and there. Just to warm certain areas up. Oops, it's gone right over his beard there, that wasn't clever. Bring some of that colour down this right hand side now, around the hat, into the back of the hat. Bit of spray. Link that into there. Might even bring this dark actually right up into his hairline as well. Shoulder. Let that bleed away. Okay. Take some tissue. Just mop up some of these areas. Take some of that. Slightly dark brown, put some blue in it. <clears throat> Start to get some of these darker colours up into the hair. Hat. Too dark. Just run some colour into this edge. A bit of blue. I'm going to do the shoulder. Some more browns in there. This is a collar line. More browns. Under the beard. And then into this side of his shirt, which is on this left hand side. It's a bit, a bit too dark there. Lift a bit of that out. <clears throat> Blues. Just colour. More orange. A 
this shirt so it comes down. Curves over. Some orange, nice bits of orange under his beard here. Bit under his hand there, down the back of this hairline. Some more of these oranges around the sleeve, up the shoulder. I'm a lot bluer now. And the back of his arm. More blue. More cerulean. A bit more of this pattern. These darker tones in the hat. Some sort of ornamental thing on the front there. Okay, so while well, the background's kind of doing whatever it needs to do, just soften that off a bit. Just gonna give that a little spray there. Just on his arm. Right, need to give that a quick. Uh, We'll leave it. We'll just let it bleed. So I'm going to get back into the eye now. Try and get a bit more shape into the eye. Taking the black and the yellow again, the original two colours. Reasonably, reasonably strong. Just to tilt this up a bit more so I can see what I'm doing. So then, the actual eye comes, let's get a clean brush. So I want part of the eye. There's an eyelash about here. The bottom of the eye. Just soften it off. To light, to darken it up. Okay. 
Okay, a little bit too big. Soften the bottom of it off. Slightly redder top edge. line coming down this way Too heavy. Get a bit more shadow, more orange. In here. To soften this edge off. Block that a little bit, it's a bit heavy. Get under the nose. It goes slightly redder, more crimson. Just to give the base of the nose a bit more red. It comes out. We'll meet the background there. And the nostril sort of here comes down to the wing. Slightly more orangey. Into the wing of the nose. come into the beard itself. Just work that colour back a little bit into the wing. Slightly more red in the uh, fold. And then it kind of comes down. And under memory into the moustache.
bring that out a bit. Background's coming a bit too far there. Just going to lift out a bit of the colour there. Okay, and then we need a tiny bit of red, a bit of yellow in that. Just along the side of the nose here. You can have a bit of that coming out of the forehead. Work that down into there. Slightly pinker. Under the eye. It kind of comes out and then into that bulge. Turns the corner there. Hairline kind of comes down. Or warmth into the cheek. A bit redder. A bit of that same orangey kind of colour. Some of that in the forehead. Maybe a tiny bit of that in the nose. Some near the lip, the bottom lip, which is going to be about here. In the beard. And there's actually some curly bits in the beard we can indicate. A couple of marks. Perhaps some hair coming back that way. Slightly grayer. Up in the um, eyebrow. But up here, a very light wash of gray. Just to get the eyebrow to turn up into the forehead a bit more. Make it a little bit fuller. Have a little bit more pink in the cheek. Just some alizarin on its own. 
pretty washy. They're not very dark, just a very light glaze, just to bring into, into the cheek line. Just a very light wash of glaze. Elysrian. <clears throat> Bit of that up in the middle of the eyes. Some on the nose. the lip right in the ear <clears throat> just on the edge a few bits of red here and there even have some of that in this arm. Take you down where the elbow is. A bit of yellow in that religion now, so it's a bit more orangey. <clears throat> Some of that under the eye. Some of that around this eye on this side. <clears throat> Bit in the forehead. A bit more colour into this forearm. Slightly bigger brush, I think. Some of these brownier colours. <clears throat> Quite a lot of water in there. <clears throat> so it's fairly light. Washes. Work those in a bit. Take the colour up into the back of the hand. <clears throat> Thank you. 